so here it is on this magnificent beautiful veterans day november 11th we are for greater forever grateful to our amazing Danny and our veterans to making this the most beautiful country in the world and the most beautiful place to live and if anybody thinks otherwise pretty please take a hike as far as i'm concerned every time i see something bad about america i just want to go on rampage anyway let's not get off the subject the subject we're on is the beauty and magic of pure price action and the danger whether certain p is currently i had taken super duper aggressive trade i'm trailing incredibly carefully this super duper aggressive trade is currently two points in profit my oil is struggling very very close to decision point one for all the reasons we discussed earlier so will S&P finally blast through the danger zone and fly a little bit higher? Let me give you the levels. Let's see what S&P is telling me currently on my one hour structure. Shall we? Very, very important to understand this Fibonacci support and resistance levels and what not to enter into. S&P currently three points later. Danger zone is reached. Will S&P give us a pullback to the downside? No question about it. Do you know why? For all the reasons. We respect our guiding light one hour. Here's my one hour chart. This is decision point two. This is where price had struggled for the next, so the last three hours and overnight. For how many hours? One, two, three, four, five. Price is finally breaking through this level and I expect S&P to succeed finally. This is exactly why it was super duper aggressive trade because we were in an incredibly dangerous area. What will oil do? Decision point one is the end of the minor trend. Price is struggling. Do you know why? Because it had been the slowest, slowest, slowest few months on oil. If you come to the markets and oil is giving us any kind of long structure, we're not finding a meaningful buying pressure. Why or why? Because major trend on monthly chart remains bearish. All the levels drawn two years ago, if you consider the current structure, this is not to be ignored because price had reached very critical support levels at the danger zone. The fluff is on. Every time buyers stepped in, there is not much meaning, but there is nothing else available on oil. Know your levels, know where to take profits of the table and know what not to enter into. Trailing very, very carefully. Danger zone on S&P had been reached. This is my trade exhaustion level. This is where I completely expect a pullback this is also reminds you this is what my guiding chart is telling me will price break through decision point two will it finally succeed and blast much much hurry out as we discussed in alpha wave traders club because of the power of the bowers overnight potential was there we just had to get out from the dangerous area simple anybody else wants an indicator trailing carefully all you need is pure price my trail 1768 and a quarter is that clear oil the struggle is on as we expected completely expected simply know your levels so take a look at the correlation of the levels and why there is so much struggle on oil at decision point one this is exactly the same level where oil collapsed from own monthly chart this is the end of the minor trend formula remains the same it doesn't matter if it's monthly it doesn't matter if it's range chart will oil finally succeed Pay attention to my guiding light. What is my guiding light telling me? My guiding light telling me if we get out of this fluff, oil will make it all the way to 95. Price is heading up and up and up. Trailing carefully my trail on oil, 94.40. Happy Monday, everybody. Two trades out the gate, and it's only 9.56 a.m. EST. Clear? something not clear pretty please ask 
I will be in Orange County, California, in magnificent Newport Beach on Friday. Look forward to seeing Alfie's. I'll send you guys an email. Hope to catch up. So pretty, please pay attention to the precision of the levels. My danger zone had been reached on five range. Decision point two had been reached on two. Adjusting my trail on oil. The moment of truth. My trail on oil, 94.48. So here we go. Price is struggling as expected because danger zone had been reached on my five range chart. This is how close I can trail. So there we go. Two point, actually three points later on S&P and 17, right? Ticks later on oil. No, it's more. 48, 47, 64. No. 17 it is. So here we are. Take a look at the correlation and the power of the levels. You are seeing that oil respecting decision point to highly correct. That's exactly where S&P is struggling for the last one, two, three, four, five hours. Formula remains the same. It doesn't matter if it's S&P one hour or if it's oily range chart. That simple formula remains the same. So currently we're managing to see will S&P plus through this level and will make it to our danger zone. One hour chart, showtime. Very, very important. Will danger zone be reached by S&P here? All it has to do is blast through this level. We do know that our guiding light one hour will overwrite anything here, correct? Which means if we see danger zone 1771, we know better. It is our ultimate destination. Watch out for the feel. And as we discussed prior, we're monitoring incredibly carefully because we'd love to short 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 at that level but this is where knowledge of pure price action come into play obey the rules and the skies are the limit nothing speculative everything precise everything very very clear adjusting my trail on oil my trail 9456 any questions please ask class we have a couple of new members starting this afternoon not too late to sign up. Danny will start from beginning. There we go. My trade on S&P. Three points later is very, very tight. Price is struggling as expected. On oil, watch out for a fill. Watch out for a fill. You're monitoring oil and you know what oil is telling you, correct? Those who are in alpha wave trader room know very, very clearly. Expect selling pressure, magnificent selling pressure at any moment because my guiding light is telling me it is coming. And here we go. My trail is even closer on oil, 9460. Will oil do exactly the same thing as S&P? Up so freaking lutely. Absolutely. This is exactly what we've been saying on multiple instruments and multiple time frames. Formula remains the same. So that is how critical my method is. It just took me years of studying pure price action to see that nothing in this world is random, not even price. Everything that surrounds you has exact same formula. And that's what makes trading so magnificent. All you have to do is play by the rules. And here's oil doing exactly the same thing as S&P. Absolutely exhausted, as you could see. Nothing in common between S&P 5 range versus oil 13. Formula remains the same. Doesn't matter what instrument and what time frame. This is a stock I just analyzed for somebody that I consult with. 
they wanted to buy Humana here. Take a look what happened to those who bought Humana here. Ouch. Daily chart on stock Humana. There we go. This was what I wrote three days ago. And this is where Humana collapsed from. The danger zone on stocks daily versus danger zone on S&P 5 range or oil 13 range, forex hourly, monthly, whatever, remains the same. That's all there is. Nothing more, nothing less. And here is Humana monthly. Know your levels. Know what price is telling you. Buying here, that's what you get. Not a lot of happiness. And that's exactly where S&P had finished our trade. And that's exactly when this powerful bullish push on oil had ended. That's all there is. Pure price for entry and Fibonacci for exit. So as you could see very, very clearly, S&P had reached danger zone and collapsed from this level, correct? For all the reasons we expected this to be the case, because S&P was in incredibly critical levels. That's why I trailed very, very carefully. What did I expect on oil? I expected oil to make it to decision point one, correct? Oil had done that. But take a look at the correlation. This is my guiding light, one hour. This is how essential and critical to respect what press is telling you and to never, ever, ever acquire the most spectacular trade anywhere near this level. Especially when it correlates with your trade ultimate exhaustion level. This is magnificent, most powerful bullish structure we had seen in days on oil. I am still adjusting my trail very, very carefully in 9480 as I expect oil will blast through this level eventually and will make it to the danger zone area. Is this clear? But this is not to be ignored. This is the end of the minor trend. This is where this drastic powerful move had taken a pause. I am going into the wave expansion at any moment. As you could see, absolutely very, very major pause after a spectacular magnificent rally, as we discussed. This was completely expected. Currently, maybe major, drastically big pullback. Exactly for all the reasons we discussed. Acquiring long position anywhere near this level. This is exactly what has happened twice before. Ouch and ouch. And finally, this time price breaking through. But by the time you come to this level, you should be in very, very large profit. This is what happened first time. This is what happened second time. Third time, our trade is exhausted. We knew that. So by the time we make it to this level, we're simply trailing carefully. Acquiring here, never. And pay attention on S&P. We knew that S&P will struggle. That's why adjusting my trail. That simple. And you know, all the levels far in advance. Adjusting my trail on oil even closer, 9490, 9533, next. So there we go, peeps. Magnificent, spectacular, painless rally on oil is completely stalling as expected. It barely broke out of the danger zone 3, which happens less than 1% of the time because this magnificent rally was incredibly powerful. Pay attention to how clear and how well defined that is and how expected it is for price to take a pause. So managing incredibly clearly will price migrate it to 93.33, my trail 94.94. So there we go, here we are. 75 ticks later with trail at 94.94 again I hope and pray those of you who trading oil are already accomplished traders trader who trading oil and a lot of times people come as a newbie traders and they go straight to oil ouch bad idea oil is a beast of the indices oil has poor liquidity very very dangerous 
and very unpredictable, especially for newbie. Only accomplished traders who doubled their account prior should be trading oil. So there we go. Price is finally migrating to decision point two. This is an adorable and happy Monday morning, yes or no? Again, if you are an Alpha Wave Traders Club, you're completely expecting selling pressure a couple of ticks prior. So there we go. Very, very simple and very, very pure. Almost 90 ticks later, few more ticks will be 90 ticks. Kudos to those of you who had taken this super duper conservative trade on oil which oil on S&P was not conservative. We expected the pain and suffering. I spelled out we're in incredibly challenging and very, very difficult levels. Know that if I will take that long on S&P, it will be aggressive trade because price had been dancing here. And what are we seeing? Major chop. That's what separates very aggressive trade from very solid and very conservative trading. So since my price blasted through five of my targets on 13 range, I went into the wave expansion. And this is the magic of the puzzle confirming that nothing in this world is random. Showing you danger zone on the wave expansion on 13 range correlates with decision point two on one hour. Very, very critical and very, very powerful. That's why you're expecting selling pressure at 95.31. Clear? My trail is, cannot be any close. Hank, this is to you. Can't wait to see you in beautiful Newport Beach, California on Friday. And can't wait to answer all of your questions in person. Love, love, love meeting Alfie's in person. That's always the most magic part of this work, of this business. That's why I love it so much. This is completely expected. Cappuccino time on S&P. Major, major flop. Only 20% of the time price ends at decision point two. And because of the incredibly critical daily and hourly levels, along with weekly levels, this is where we expect potential massive reversal. And as we discussed, when sellers will show up, they will show up with incredible power. And we start seeing that. I will be taken short at any point. Buckle up. Oil, we're still long. The trail is 94, 96. 40 minutes later, oil is doing absolutely not at zero zilch. Decision point two versus danger zone two on wave expansion 13 range. As expected, S&P, an hour after the open where we caught our adorable three point runner, doing nothing. That's exactly why I spelled out it was a dangerous trade. Massive, massive congestion, very, very critical also very important levels. Everything that I send out over the weekend, that's exactly the struggle. Decision point two on daily with decision point two on hourly. You want to enter in this area? Then you know nothing about price. If you do, walk away pretty please. It is major cappuccino time on S&P. Our super duper aggressive trade worked out. Unless we gonna get out of this level or we're gonna stage a serious collapse, nothing good happens in this area. Oil could dance here for the next three hours. I don't know. Two trades are done. Walk away with profits. Preserve your capital. Enjoy your life. Life is too short to babysit the fluff. So there we go. You are seeing what Apple had done when Apple had reached danger zone on daily charts on November 17. So that's the magic of alpha wave trader method. Formula remains the same. This is what Apple had done when it reached decision point one for the first time. It struggled there for a couple of weeks. And this is where Apple collapsed from. And we'll take a look on Apple since nothing else is happening here. We've been in this trade on oil for an hour. And this instant magnificent bullish rally had gone nowhere because of the correlation of the levels. Decision point two and danger zone on my trade had been reached. That's why my trail is at 94.96. We actually had been in this trade for almost hour 
and 20 minutes. S&P, as I spelled out, this was our adorable run-up. As we expected, S&P to be incredibly difficult. Three points later, it's doing nothing. It's stuck in complete corrective fluff. So that's all there is. Unless there is any other update, I'm simply monitoring what oil will do. We're watching incredibly critical formation in Alpha Wave Traders Club. And zero zelch on S&P. So here we go. And almost two hours later, we're still in this trade on oil and we still have nothing on S&P. My trail on oil is 95.15. Wouldn't it be lovely if oil will fly all the way to the danger zone on one hour chart without torturing us? Wouldn't it be a lovely surprise? But here we are, a couple of ticks. 95.49 will be 100 tick trade. I am trailing. Here we are. My trail 95.16. Price is still struggling as expected. So here we are. Two hour trade on oil. Ouch. Historically long magnificent trade. This trade had gotten nowhere. Had not been able to blast through the danger zone. Wave expansion 13 range because it correlated with one hour decision point two. I would be absolutely stunned if there will be any other trades on S&P as I spelled out a long time ago. Expect major chop, expect major fluff. Because when you see this massive correlation with our guising light one hour, with our daily levels, walk away. There's absolutely no need to be tortured. So happy Monday everybody. Three points on S&P and 90 ticks on oil. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I will remain here if you have any questions. Danny will start in education room in 30 minutes. Know your levels. Know where to take profits off the table. And know what not to enter into. Pure price for entry and Fibonacci for exits. Once you learn the rules, you can trade any instrument. That simple and that pure. Adios everybody. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.